and girls of all genders and all races, sexualities. This is the unboxing for much awaited longtime sequel of the 2018 God of War, God of War Ragnarok. And that's to tell you exactly how important this unboxing video is. That's why we have, that's why we played the intro before the video. I know it's out of characteristics because I, because I honestly have not opened this yet. I just got back from my midnight launch uh, at my GameStop. Let me know down in the comments if your GameStop is also doing a midnight release for God of War Ragnarok. And also just wanted to let you know, my GameStop has also informed me that we're going to be doing a midnight launch for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We're going to be doing a unboxing of both with my buddy Sal Reality. He's going to be unboxing Scarlet and I'm going to be unboxing Violet. So stay tuned for that one happening next week on the 18th. We're going to be doing it on the same exact time. I don't have a watch on me, but I think it's like about 12.30 right now. Uh, I just got back. Uh, kind of tired, kind of reeling, but want to get this done. Want to get this done because I want to start playing as soon as possible. It's a little over 92 gigs, so it's going to be a little bit before it officially I can play it. So, And plus I just got done doing the unboxing video also for Sonic Frontiers. So I've been playing, I've been wanting to play this one, but I don't know which one to actually do. So there's that. But... Let's jump into this unboxing. So, this one, as you guys know from the last one, you know, 2018 God of War, we uh, are taking place now in, we're going to, I think, Asgard and stuff like that. Because I saw on the trailer that we're going to be fighting Thor and Odin. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some references to Loki and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, my phone is being a jerk right now. But anyway, we're going to dive right in. So... Right here, you can see Kratos and Atreus, God of War Ragnarok. I got the launch edition for the PlayStation 5, M, rated M for Mature, of course. Uh, Santa Monica Studios and PlayStation Studios as well. Um, right there on the side, it says God of War Ragnarok. It says, I'll let you read that if you guys want to, you know. For those, of course, that if you don't want to read it, I will read it for you. It says, Embark on an epic and heartfelt journey as Kratos and Atreus struggle with holding on and letting go against the backdrop of Norse realms torn asunder. Witness the changing dynamic of the father-son relationship as they prepare for war. I'm honestly hoping... Sorry about that, guys. I need to check. Okay, cool. My phone's still good. I, I, like... I'm honestly hoping, because I heard that this was the conclusion to the Kratos Atreus type thing going on, you know, because um, I'm honestly hoping that this one will probably have a post credit scene kind of like in the last one, where we'll kind of have an idea about what's going to be happening for the next God of War. Uh, boy. Uh, so right here, it says, since I got the launch edition, I'm getting the... Kratos Ryzen Snow Armor and for the Atreus Ryzen Snow Tunic cosmetic. Um, it's one player. 91 gigabytes. It's a good thing I cleared up some storage space before I got this game. Uh, and vibration function and trigger effects supported. It's rated M for mature due to blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. And I'm honestly really hoping, I'm really excited about the cast of characters in this one. Of course, Christopher Judge is going to come back as Kratos. Really, really excited to see Ryan Hurst as Thor. You know, that's that's the perfect casting in my opinion. But anyway, let's, uh, let's dive right into this, you know, because I honestly can't wait for to play this, and I can't wait for you guys to play it as well. So we'll get on with this unboxing. I won't keep you guys here any longer. Let's open this up this is probably everyone this is probably gonna be everyone's game of the year not gonna lie for mine i gotta say mine's probably gonna be either crisis core final fantasy 7 or it's probably gonna be uh pokemon violet or scarlet i have no idea so now i have it open okay so we got the bonus content right here the DLC 
and here's on the inside, here's what you get. Uh, here's a closer look at the game disc. It was kind of cool. And there's also an advertisement for a game I love playing. Well, two games I love playing. Horizon Forbidden West and The Last of Us Part 1. And honestly, I have both of those games. I'm currently working on The Last of Us Part 1 on the channel. Excited for that one. And the uh, Horizon Forbidden West, since, uh, as you guys know, a couple months ago, I finally, or I think it was last month, I finally got back my PS5. Um, I got a new one because uh, of, uh, you know, taxes and stuff like that. I had to resort to selling my first one. But the one that I currently have, I'm not going to sell. I don't care if how much I'm in debt. I'm not going to sell it. Uh, but anyway, that's a story for another time. Probably when we're live streaming doing something. Uh, but yeah, this just a quick little unboxing and I didn't even notice this until right now. Um, there is back cover art. You know, kind of cool. You know. But anyway, this was a very quick unboxing for God of War Ragnarok, uh, the launch edition. Um, the next unboxing that you will see me be doing is probably most likely going to be as I have said, the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games with my uh, buddy and co-host Sour Reality, so look forward to that. That's going to be happening next week. And then after that, December's games, you'll have to wait and see, bros. But anyway, this has been a quick unboxing for much-awaited God of War Ragnarok. I will catch you all in the next video. Later, I'm going to go start installing this, and I'll let you know how I feel about it.